recent document area of the start page within Top Solid offers a lot of different tools to help you get to working as quick as possible. Here's how they work. First of all, if you notice, every icon here has the name of the file beneath it, CAM 101, for example. This icon to the left of it is telling me that that's a part design file. If I look at this one that says assembly, this is an assembly file, not because of the name, because of the icon. Now, right now, I'm looking at all of my recent documents that I've worked with via very large icons. You can also resize this list down here in the lower right corner just by clicking on this icon. You can use either small, medium, or large icons. Next, there's something fun you can do with the recent documents. For example, maybe this is the part that I want to work on, but I'm not quite sure. Instead of loading it, I can middle mouse button click on it and go right into a live preview. Here I'm using my spacebar in order to manipulate the part, but I could also middle click to rotate, right mouse button click to pan, or use my scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If this isn't the part that I want to load, I can left click on something else and close the preview. Now, if this is the part that I want to load, all I have to do is double left mouse button click and it will load the part, as well as the associated project where the part is stored. It even shows you where that part is within that project. Kind of cool. Let's look at a few more tools within the recent document list. Some other fun things you can do, for example, is this. Maybe this assembly is one you're working on a lot, so you want to keep it relevant in your list. And what I mean by that is, watch, I can pin it to the list. That was achieved via right mouse button click. I can either pin or unpin objects to keep them always at the top of my list for quick access. Some of the other things you can do with the right mouse button is open the document and of course the associative project, turn on that preview which I showed you with that middle mouse button click, or just open the project. If I hit show in project tree here, or left mouse button select this once and hit control T as a shortcut, it will bring me exactly to that sample and exactly to where that file is. Kind of cool. Last thing I'll talk about within the recent document list is this icon right down here, change theme. This allows you just to change the color theme to something that's maybe more agreeable to your palette.